tell you what it's all about and soothe you with sweet music. Hit it, Steve. Look at all the artificial people walking up and down the street, thinking they're so clever, snubbing everyone they meet. What about these phony balonies telling me how to live my life? I'm all right the way I am. I still believe in perfect love. I still believe in true romance. Live and let live is what this world ought to be made of. I take my stand. I'm a natural man. I'm a natural man in an artificial world. It's plastic, fantastic, spinning around. Natural man in an artificial world. I'm just trying to keep my feet on the ground. Just trying to keep my feet on the ground. I've had enough of blind conformers. All they want was right for them. For you, they do not care. They never would play fair. And I don't like those double dealers. They think that they're so cool. They don't even know they're really the fool. would think he is Well, I'm just trying to do what I do best Please understand I'm a natural man I'm a natural man in an artificial world It's plastic, fantastic, spinning around Natural man in an artificial world I'm just trying to keep my feet on the ground Just trying to keep my feet on the ground Magnificent show tonight. Uh, my special guests tonight are Jay Allen Friedman, the incomparable Carolyn Hester, and uh, John Brahaney and Len Chandler, directors of Los Angeles Songwriters Showcase. And 
They're going to tell you about what's going on. We're going to come right back to you right after this, so stay tuned. Welcome back. We're, we're here with the uh, Smoky Miles Music Hour live. And if you've just tuned in, this is a, an all live show, as I said, all acoustic music. And we come to you every Monday night at 8.30. I hope everybody out there had a good week, because uh, I certainly did. Checking out the music scene in Los Angeles is pretty amazing. There's so much great music going on that it can keep you busy 24 hours a day. Uh, just this weekend, I saw uh, Lawrence Lebo, who's going to be on our show October 9th, and she had a record opening party uh, at the Musician's Record Shop on Lincoln Boulevard, and it was uh, quite a band. You're going to see her with a little big band. Also, I uh, caught a new group called Tribe After Tribe uh, from South Africa. They were in the studio with uh, my good friend uh, Bob Johnston, who's producing them now, and uh, they do some very interesting political rock music. They're going to perform for us acoustic in a few weeks. And um, also, we've got some other great acts coming up uh, in the near future. Uh, Lauren Hart is going to be with us, uh, Sandy Bull, Bonnie Bramlett, um, Bill Whiteacre, who won the Los Angeles uh, Guitarist Competition, and uh, some other fantastic musicians. So tell your friends about the show, and uh, we hope to see you coming down to our live audience. Right now, I want to introduce uh, a great singer-songwriter who I first uh, got to meet in one of the local clubs here, uh, performing blues-style, slide guitar-style original music. Let's have a warm welcome for J. Allen Friedman. Working my way towards the edge, treaded a new picket fence for an old guitar, and I stepped out onto the ledge. I had one eye on my machine, one eye on the clock. Then I turned myself into a circus. I said goodbye to the misery box. Just yes, turned myself into a circus. Said goodbye to the misery box. I was hungry for magic, looking for a fight. Needed a bigger box to dance on. Needed to dance every night. I'm an uninsured motorist down on my last dime. Running on empty, running out of time. With a new bag of tricks, I'm crossing the line. Take a deep breath, take a day at a time. I saw how the dots were connected, so I'd given up too soon. I saw myself digging for worms with a golden spoon. Digging for worms with a golden spoon. I was working my way towards the mill. Now I'm working my way towards the edge. Traded a new picket fence for an old guitar, and I stepped out onto the ledge. I was hungry for magic, looking for a fight. I needed a bigger box to dance on. Needed to dance every night. I had one eye on my machine, one eye on the clock. Then I turned myself into a circus, I said goodbye to the misery box. Yes, I turned myself into a circus, I said goodbye to the misery box. I was hungry for magic. Looking for a fight, I needed a bigger box to dance on. Needed to dance every night. I was an uninsured short motor, it's down to my last round. Running on empty, running out of time with a new bag of tricks. I'm crossing the line, take a deep breath, take a day at a time. I had one eye on my machine, one eye on the clock. Then I turned myself into a circus. I said goodbye to the misery box. Yes, I turned myself into a circus. I said goodbye to the misery box. Yeah, Jay. Come on, come on. Oh, you're still going on that. Jay, uh, thanks for coming. Um, how, I wanted to, uh, to ask you a question. Uh, I forgot to tell you beforehand that we, we goof around on the interviews uh, quite a bit. When, when, when was it that you uh, came from the Mississippi Delta? 
by way of Brooklyn, New York. Oh, you came from Brooklyn? How, how'd you get the Mississippi Delta style? I know you've been. I know you're from Mississippi. Osmosis. I never really practiced. It just worked its way into my body. Is that right? By itself. That's right. And uh, on and the when, radio. When did you start growing a beard? Now? Uh, four weeks ago. How about oh, you? Come on, two months ago. Four, oh, I can I don't grow it that well, man. It just you know, I started and it, it doesn't happen. Listen, man, uh, getting serious a little bit. I know you're playing some shows around town. Yes. Uh, why don't you Good tell, idea. Us, tell us about it? Yeah. Gaslight, September 29th, nine o'clock in Hollywood. Okay, check with a band. With a band. What's yeah. your band? What's the lineup in your band? It's very small. It's a bass and a drums. Bass and drums. Because nobody else shows up. <laughs> How come they don't show up? Man? Because there are other bands like this guy. Maybe they got a loss coming from Mississippi. They have a what? They got a loss coming from Mississippi. No, they come from polka country. Polka country? <laughs> it's a polka band. I told you, I, we, do, we mess up the interviews. We here. didn't practice this. We, we didn't? No, no, we didn't practice the interviews. And, and uh, your harmonica player is uh, wonderful. What's his Mr. name? Mr. Peter Lax. Peter, glad to meet you. Hey, good to be here. Thanks. You, got, you guys going to do another song for us? Yeah. What's it, uh, what's it called? This is called uh, Twice What I Need, Half What I Want. Okay, J. Al Friedman. This is not a Delta Blue song. So, so what, right? Okay. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Cigarette adventures, give me whiskeys and sarotine, give me perfect women looking down on every street corner, give me perfect women with bullets, proof smiles, give me more action, give me the ultimate kiss. Something that I can't resist
give me cigarettes. Adventures get me whiskey and Sarah's. Give me more action. Give me the ultimate kiss. Give me all your sugar romance. Give me something I can't resist. Give me all your sugar romance. Give me something that I can't resist. Give me something I can't resist. Jay Allen Friedman. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Jay. That was wonderful. Uh, I, I dug that, man. That had a good beat. Listen, right now, I want to tell you that we really, really want you to write to us because we makes us very, very happy. In fact, Smokey will be ecstatic as an alligator. As an alligator if you write to us. So we're going to put the slate on right now where you can take a look at the address to uh, write to us here, and we'll read the best of your letters and postcards right on the air we'll be talking to you Let me introduce my next guest this is somebody that uh, i met her several years ago in new york city at uh, i believe it was folk city which is uh, an old club in new york that a lot of great musicians played at and we just hit it off immediately i think she's one of the most legendary and wonderful singers i've ever heard uh, let's have a warm welcome for carolyn hester Can you come over here? Let, I'd love to talk to you. And um, 
It's, it's such a thrill that you're here. It really is. Uh, I've, you know, the first time I saw you singing, I was just blown away. You were singing a song about uh, uh, Indians, and I know you've been very involved uh, with Indians. Yeah. Well, well, right now, um, we've been planning at Kerbal Folk Festival down in Texas, uh, something that's going to be called Festival of the Eagle, and that will be uh, particularly to bring Native Americans and all those who are, who are in love with Native Americans to, to bring them all together. It's really going to be exciting. That's going to be in June of 1990. Next, June. June of 1990 in, in, in Texas? In Kerbal, Texas. Kerbal, Texas. Kerbal, Texas. Now tell us about that, that Kerbal Festival that you, you play with. It's like a traveling rodeo, isn't it? Yeah, I think they take them all over the country. Now they're going to do a Napa uh, festival. Uh, in Napa in uh, a few weeks, and it is all singer-songwriter uh, type festivals. That, that's the main thing Kerrville does, is uh, bring out the, the singer in you and the songwriter in you. And, and you can do traditional stuff, but, but they're trying to, to find out uh, what people have on their minds. Now you, you, you're like a troubadour, really, like a true troubadour. Go, I know you go all over the country, all over the world singing and, and, and just for people, you know. I mean, that's that's what I think music's about. Well, one thing that happened to me recently that kind of blew my mind was that uh, coming back out to sing after being so involved in the '60s, that people would regard me as a '60s folk singer. But I recently played the Philadelphia Folk Festival, and it wasn't because I was a '60s folk singer. It was as a Texas singer-songwriter. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> and I played on the, the program with Guy Clark and uh, Jerry Jeff Walker. And it was a thrill. Well, I, th I, I mean, and listen, I'm no less thrilled to be here with you. Oh, that, that's that's. And I don't know how much is more fun doing this show or just preparing for it. it. We had so much fun talking about everything you're doing and what you want. Oh, to yeah, do I know. And, and Carolyn's been very, very helpful to me and instrumental in, in bringing back all the 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 reasons why we did this show for in the first place to bring people together and to bring great music to you so thanks Carolyn and uh, we are back and I'm very very proud to re-welcome Texas singer-songwriter with her song Ascending Woman Carolyn Hester
Carolyn Hester, and David and Amy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. This is Smokey's Corner. Listen, uh, I read this in the uh, paper today. This was from the LA Times. It says, uh, this is under the Pop Rock column, the seventh annual LA Guitar Show has some curious names on its list of invited guests. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Wayne Allman, John Lennon, Buddy Holly, and Elvis Presley, all deceased. An attempt to contact the late pop heroes in what's being billed as the first ever rock seance will take place beginning at 8 p.m. on Saturday. And um, this is uh, going to be taking place up in Hollywood. Saturday, they're going to be contacting all these people. Well, you know, I mean, there's no reason to make a big deal out of it. It's really pretty easy to contact anybody. I mean, obviously, we could contact them if we wanted to contact them. But, um, you know, why bother? They're going to contact them Saturday. So we figured tonight uh, we'd show you how easy it is. We're going to contact Muddy Waters. And um, uh, it's really very a very simple thing if you know what you're doing. It could be, uh, could be dangerous if you don't, but for us it's nothing. Basically, all you need is a few kitchen utensils, things you find around the house. And in fact, let me show you a picture of Muddy because um, this is what you'll need. You'll need a picture to begin with. Uh, here he is. He's one of my idols, by the way, and I, can we catch that uh, right in there? We have that now? Beautiful. Muddy Waters. We're going to contact Muddy. Okay, so what you do need is a big pot. Obviously, you want to light a candle first. And uh, just some things you find around the house. Some uh, garlic bread sprinkle. You throw that in the pot. Uh, some uh, garlic parsley and salt. And uh, black pepper. Then you, then you need a few more exotic things, like you need a black cat bone. Obviously, we're going to substitute... Uh, a chicken bone for black cat bone. I uh, need a mojo. I'm going to use uh, my goop here. I'm going to use a mojo. And we're going to substitute for John the Conjurer, we're going to use some celery. Then, of course, you need a, uh, an alligator and a uh, spider, some um, uh, grasshopper here. And, of course, you need a little bit of uh, soy. Uh, this is a uh, sea common, uh, what do you call this now? Uh, uh, nori, nori, tamari. Yeah, this is, you know, in case he's in Japan somewhere. All right, you throw those in, sprinkle them liberally inside. Now, of course, uh, you also need, very important, you need a, uh, a little gizmo like this to focus in the energy. Uh, can we see that now? Flavio, we catch that? And uh, you do need a harmonica. Oh, uh, I forgot one thing. You have to cover the pot, and really you should stir and shake it over fire for a few minutes. Now, once you blow the harmonica, you start uh, conjuring up the uh, spirit of money. I feel the energy. I feel the energy in the room. Yes. Yes. He's coming. I feel the energy is coming from, from this corner of the room here. Yes, I know that the spirit of Muddy is... The spirit of Muddy is with us tonight. Yes. The spirit of Muddy is here. See, since we, we knew what we were doing, nothing happened. And there's money. We're going to take you to the calendar and we'll be right back. See you in a few. I got to put my son's on when you know the wrong. Me and my wife, Martha, run all over that town. Everywhere we go, the people, they were trying us down. 
I had to, I had to check over. I had to check over and make sure it wasn't muddy, and it's not muddy, but it's better than muddy. He's, he's live. He's here. Let's have a warm welcome for Lynn Chandler. talking sexy her mouth was prairie wide and I'm not lying and she she had the kind of eyes that you could die in you could die in her eyes you could die in her eyes You could live your whole life for her love, but you could die in her eyes. She was smart. I'm talking laser head smart. And she was cool. I mean dry ice cool. Cut your heart in two without even trying. And she had the kind of eyes that you could die in. You could die in her eyes. You could die. You could live your whole life for her love, but you could die in her eyes. Somewhere between whirlpools and cruel volcanoes, they'd suck you in, then they'd blow you away. But if you know what she and only she knows, you'd know she's waiting for someone someday to turn to her and say, I could die in your eyes. I could die. I could live this whole life for your love, but I could die in your eyes. I could die in those eyes. I could die in your eyes. I could live my whole life for your love, but I could die in your eyes. Then somewhere in the distance, the sirens come screaming out. All the heads stop turning and wondering what it's all about. I know that I'm a captive of this crazy city scene. But there's one thing I want to remind you. There's one thing I could mean. I could die in your eyes. I could die in your eyes. I could live my whole life for your love. I could die in your eyes. That's, that was magnificent. Beautiful. Great, Lynn. I'm here. I'm here. We're going to talk to Lynn in a few minutes. Um, right now, I've got uh, John Brahaney, who is uh, also with Len, one of the co-founders and directors of the Los Angeles Songwriters Showcase. John is also the author of a book called The Craft and Business of Songwriting. And we're very privileged to have him here tonight. Let's talk, John, right about the expo, because that's the main okay, thing we'll happening. Get into it right off Let's go for it. Okay. This, is, this is the thing that you pick up on the street, because it has an entire schedule for the expo in it. And the songwriters, this is our, our 13th annual Songwriters Expo. 
and uh, it's two days of classes and workshops and panels on all aspects of, of songwriting and, and uh, of both the craft and, and getting your getting your songs uh, to people in the industry. And this is going to be at the Pasadena Conference Center on October 28th and 29th. You got it. And it's the, it's the uh, this is the largest and most important songwriters event in North America. Absolutely. In the wor in, in the, the known galaxy. In the known ga <laughs> Who's going to be there this year? <laughs> Uh, Joe Smith, who's, uh, who's uh, uh, Chief Operating Officer of uh, C Capital EMI, is uh, going to be our, our speaker. But we've got, uh, we've got over 100 uh, music industry people, hit songwriters. Uh, uh, we've, got, uh, uh, and we've got panels. And I, for, for the listeners of, or the watchers of this show, uh, there are some interesting things. We've got some... Uh, the acoustic music uh, thing. Yeah, what's, we've what's got that some all acoustic about? Mu music things. Uh, Ron, Ascap, Sobel, Ron Sobel. Ron right, Sobel from ASCAP. from ASCAP is going to lead a, a panel on uh, on acoustic music because it's it's coming along it's coming along again and it's getting to be a real important thing with a, sure is. a breakthrough like Tracy Chapman really kicks it off and everybody in the music industry starts looking around and saying what's going on here it looks like we better get on it here and, and look for some great acoustic acts so. well acoustic music is the roots of, of it all absolutely and, and I know that, that you, was my roots <laughs> I know and we're going to get get into that a little more when we come back. Okay. Um, I think. Are we ready for the break yet? At this point, or we have a little more time to talk to John? I think we do. Okay. Uh, so, what, what? Why don't you tell us about LASS? Uh, the Los Angeles Songwriter Showcase is a, is a nonprofit uh, service organization for songwriters. Len and I started it in 1971, and essentially, what we do is uh, is hook up uh, great writers with uh, people in the industry who are looking for great writers and songs. And we, we and hope that they, they watch this show and uh, catch and them here, too. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll talk to John in, uh, in, uh, at more at length about this, about acoustic music, LA Songwriter Showcase, and the Songwriters Expo right after this. <laughs> OK, uh, we're back here with uh, John Brahaney and Len Chandler. Len just sang a song for us a few minutes ago, which was a beautiful, magnificent Magnificently beautiful song, Len. And I noticed that the, the, the um, alarm went off there. Yeah. And then you got into a, a verse about alarms. Did you just write that? No, I just, uh, the, the spirits gave that to me. Actually, they were the very same spirits that I should have uh, uh, acknowledged that the word I was channeling for um, uh, Muddy Waters. And they kind of, <laughs> and as Muddy was coming through the cosmos, these, these words just came through. And actually, the, the, these sounds that some people might hear this in the background, that is an alarm going off. That, that's Muddy drawing close. So, so you know, you really. So you did good, man. I mean, you did I mean, real you put, good. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. Sometimes it works better <laughs> than you expect. Because, you know, some people might sound think it's an alarm going, wait, wait, but actually it's going. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, and that, that, that's is that the blues? Oh that's well, the, well, that's definitely that the blues. The, uh, that's called the sirens uh, solo yeah. blues. The yeah. sirens solo. Yeah, right. You played. You, what was the instrument you started out playing, Len? Well, uh, the ocarina. The uh, ocarina. <laughs> <laughs> And the uh, Fitchhorn song flute, and that was followed by a comb. And uh, actually, uh, I did play the oboe and the English horn after that. And uh, that's what you might be referring to. And then you went to folk music? Uh, yeah, I have kind of folked uh, uh, off for a while. Folked off for a while, and then <laughs> founded and created the LA Songwriter Showcase. Yeah, and uh, stay tuned. We're going to be right back. Watch out for the Expo, October 28th and 29th at the Pasadena Conference Center. Len Chandler, Got a phone John number. Brahini. Oh, the phone number you want to give? 654-1665. Call it. that number and get all the information you need. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. We're going to jam for you. Thanks for watching the show. We had a great time. We hope you did too. Uh, we have a wonderful audience out here tonight, and they helped support us. I want to thank my guests, uh, John Brahaney and Len Chandler, David Bloom, Carolyn Hester, J. Allen Friedman, Peter, Steve Fast. And uh, right now we're going to jam for you on a song that Woody Guthrie wrote called Do Re Mi, and it goes like this. Lots of folks back east they say, we're leaving home every day. Heading a hot and dusty way for the California line. Across the desert sands they rode, heading out of the old dust bowl. 